My name is Martin Jordan. I'm a clinical senior lecturer at Bangor University in North Wales in the UK. I've been a GP for many years. I'm also a member of the Global Respiratory Infection Partnership. GRIP are a group of uh, like-minded healthcare professionals from around the world. Uh, there are 11 countries represented. Uh, they're a mixture of uh, pharmacists, doctors and microbiologists. And they've all, all got a keen interest in ensuring that we tackle problems related to overuse and inappropriate use of antibiotics. Well, I've been quite active in terms of talking to many people around um, what GRIP is and explaining what we're setting out to do. Uh, I've been to visit several countries to discuss the work of GRIP and to promote some of the concepts around how we can conserve antibiotics and prescribe more responsibly. Um, I've also done quite a lot of work within the UK around antimicrobials. I've been on the NICE antimicrobial uh, stewardship uh, guideline group and that guideline has just been released. Um, I've also had a lot of work to do with the Royal College of GPs in the UK um, and uh, some of that work has been, been in relation to prescribing of antimicrobials. Well, GRIP's framework will make a difference because it uh, encourages people to work in a very consistent and appropriate manner when dealing with, in particular, sore throats. Um, and sore throats was chosen because it's a really good example of how you can educate and inform and get people to change the way that they do so. It places patients right at the centre of decision making and the consultation. Um, and it, it, it's, a, it's a good system in terms of um, encouraging people to change their behaviour and the way that they do things. Patient pressure is a big issue in primary care um, and, and sometimes that pressure is, is for very good reasons. People are scared or they're worried about what's going on or what the problem is. It might be that they've got a misunderstanding of what an antibiotic can achieve. Um, and I think there's a really important part of um, the work that we do is, is around um, helping to, to, to deal with those perceptions. One of the things I'm concerned about is because we're so hard pressed in primary care because it's such a busy job, we don't necessarily ask the right kind of questions and we don't necessarily try to understand, we, we're not patient centred, we don't try and understand what it is that the, the patient believes about their problem. And if we could do that more, we'd be able to better reassure them and to direct them to other types of treatment as opposed to antibiotics. We do have now a lot of materials that can be used by um, healthcare professionals to counsel patients and advise patients on respiratory tract infections. Um, GRIP itself has produced a lot of materials which are generally well received and I see them when I visit practices from time to time. For example, there's a poster that can go up in the consulting room or in the waiting room wall which advises on appropriate management of respiratory tract infections and, and the need for, if you like, symptomatic treatments as opposed to antibiotics. Um, we have patient information leaflets. We have a tear-off sheet which the healthcare professional can direct the patient towards the most appropriate symptomatic treatment and the patient feels better because they're going away with something Maybe they were expecting a prescription, but it's a, but it's a part of the transaction of the consultation.